All right, in this movie, we're going to once again reduce the number of colors in our artwork, and that'll give me a chance to walk you through the color reduction methods. So I'll go ahead and scroll down to the last of the emojis right here, and I will marquee him in order to select him with the black arrow tool. And then I'm going to apply these exact same colors again. So I'll just double click in the folder for the three spots group in order to bring up the recolor artwork dialog box and automatically apply those colors. Now, illustrators once again chose some pretty strange combinations, but it's an easy matter to move these guys around by, for example, clicking on the shade of brown there. And then you can shift click on this shade of brown. Notice that goes ahead and selects a range of colors. That's not really what I want. So I'll click off of them for a second. And if you want to select non-adjacent colors, then click on one and drag it over like so, and then go ahead and drag this guy over as well, because the order of the colors in these strips doesn't really matter. And then shift click on this brown to select all three of them and drag them and drop them onto the black strip right there. And that'll go ahead and darken up the eyebrows and the teeth and so forth. Then go ahead and click on this shade of orange and shift click on this yellowish orange and drag them down onto the yellow strip in order to map all those colors to Pantone 130. And I'll go ahead and click on this down pointing arrowhead in order to bring up the five color reduction methods. And notice that for me, apply to all and preserve spot colors are both turned on. And so your first option is exact. Now you're not gonna see the preview until you click off in order to hide that pop-up menu. And notice what happens now is that we are applying the exact color throughout the gradient. So we no longer have any gradients whatsoever except for the white gradients, which are not being remapped. If that's not what you want, and it's unlikely it is, your other option is to preserve tints. And so I'll go ahead and click on that one and then click off the pop-up menu. And what that's gonna do is preserve any tinting that's actually at work inside the artwork. And tinting, by the way, is brightening of spot colors in particular. Another option, and this is the default, is to scale the tints automatically. And this is something the Illustrator is just gonna do on the fly, in which case we return to that effect we saw at the outset. But now notice here, if I click the down pointing arrow head again, there's a couple of more options that are available to me, but they're currently dimmed. And that's because I'm working with spot colors. And so if you turn preserve spot colors off, which by the way, is gonna go ahead and separate your artwork if you commercially reproduce it to the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black inks. So all bets are off. But notice now you have a couple of other options. One is tints and shades which is not only going to brighten those colors, but it's gonna darken them as well. So tints is always a brightening, in particular, of a global color, and a shade is a darkening effect, in which case we get this more robust effect right here. And then finally, I'll go ahead and show you the last one, hue shift, which will go ahead and add to the whole brightness shift a little bit of hue and saturation, which produces this fairly wild looking effect right here. Now I like it where the eyes are concerned, but I don't really like the introduction of that green around the mouth and the head and so forth. And so what I'm gonna do is click the down pointing arrowhead next to the orange color right there. I'll turn off the apply to all checkbox and I'll switch this guy back to tints and shades and then click off the pop-up menu in order to preview the effect on screen. At which point I think I like what I see. And so I'll go ahead and click okay in order to accept that change. And now I'll click off the artwork to deselect it and I'll press control zero or command zero on the Mac to zoom out so that we can see every one of the recolored emojis. And that's how you modify the color reduction setting and understand what in the world it is you're doing when you're reducing the number of colors assigned to a piece of artwork here inside Illustrator.